All right, today I'm checking out my Rio Link Super HD security camera. And uh, I'm there on the side of my house. So I've just come up to the balcony. I'm gonna have a quick look at the installation of the uh, camera up here. As you can see, I've put a little junction box out here and I'll tell you why. The cable that comes out of here has got uh, quite a lot going on on the end of it. Um, and I didn't want to have to drill a really big hole in the wall of my house. Uh, I wanted to just run the ethernet cable. Here's the cable coming from the camera. It's got ethernet connector, reset switch and power connector there if you're not using power over ethernet. Um, and uh, that would have been a pretty big hole to drill in the wall and I didn't want to do that. So pop this little junction box in uh, for a couple of euros and uh, keeps everything nice and tidy and away from the rain. The 1440p uh, extra high definition resolution certainly makes a difference. From up here it's a uh, high enough resolution to just about pick out number plates on the cars as they drive by. The night vision does suffer a little bit for a couple of reasons. The first reason is simply where I've mounted the camera. So the distance from the camera to the road is quite long, probably a little bit just out of reach of the LED lights. Uh, I'd say it's probably about 30 meters from the camera down to the road there. Um, the second reason is when the camera does switch to infrared mode, uh, it seems to uh, open the shutter up. It, it does something uh, and the picture does go quite grainy. I might consider getting a separate LED illuminator light out the front of my house just to give the infrared recording a little bit of a boost in quality. I'll see how that goes. I do like the software that comes with the rear link. The software on board the camera itself. Use your browser to browse to the IP address of the camera and log in. To the settings menu there. What resolution you want it to be. And also the client software that it comes with for Windows which is in fact a fully fledged uh, network surveillance CCTV system. So this will be able to manage multiple Rio Link cameras uh, with all the motion detection recording directly to the computer's hard drive. All the settings that you can do in the web interface, but this is just bringing it all together in the Rio Link client software. The app is pretty comprehensive, lets you uh, view the live picture and uh, you can do this remotely using the Reolink P2P system uh, which lets you uh, view remotely without uh, having to set up port forwarding or anything like that. If you're worried about that from a security issue you can switch that off in the settings along with all the other settings just like you can in the Windows client and the onboard software by the web interface. There's no SD card storage on this camera, so it's more geared towards using with network surveillance software like the Reolink client, but I've got other cameras on my network, so. I'm actually using Blue Iris as my security camera solution. So um, the Reolink camera can connect to that no problems at all. There's instructions on how to do that on the Reolink website, on the support website. Um, but the, if you want to use this camera as a standalone camera, without using security software it's fantastic i had it set up within about 10 minutes to record clips from motion detection save them onto my network storage device i think the real link camera is definitely worth uh, paying a little bit extra for the 60 to 80 pound mark as opposed to the uh, the 30 40 pound mark for the really cheap cameras uh, the software is mature there's good support the website's got lots of information on it um, I'll definitely be buying some more real link cameras to add to my network. Thanks for watching.